Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at the tangent ratio. So the tangent ratio is another one of our trigonome trigonometric ratios, so trigonometric ratios. So it's really related to triangles and these are right angle triangles. So if we have this right angle triangle and we know any two side lengths, we can use those two side lengths to work out the angle of our triangle. So it's really important for things like engineering and uh, architecture and anything which actually involves triangles. So say hypothetically we had this example where this side length was 10, this side length was 15. We could use our Pythagoras and we could work out that the side length here is going to be 18.02. So our tan ratio, so our tan ratio, we're concerned with working out the angle and we're using our opposite side, which we said was O. So if we want to work out the opposite side in our triangle, we say our angle which we're interested in is here. We just draw a, a line all the way across. Our opposite side is going to be over here. So our opposite side is going to be equal to 10. And we're also into a, interested in our adjacent side. So our, our adjacent side was the side which was next to our angle. So if we have our angle here, the side next to our angle is going to be this, this straight line here. So this side here is our adjacent side. So we'll say our adjacent side is equal to 15. So we've got our opposite side and our adjacent side. So we just define them like that. And of course, we this 18.02 would be our hypotenuse, but we're not interested that, in that here. So we've got a little rhyme, or if you've looked at the videos, we use so ka toa. So so ka toa. To remember this, so we're interested in the tan ratio, which is T, so opposite and adjacent side. So what we want to do now is we want to work out this angle. And what we can say is that if we have the tan ratio of some angle here, theta, then this is going to be equal to the ratio of our opposite side divided by our adjacent side. So I'll make that a little clearer. Uh, adjacent side. So this works for any triangle where the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is the same. And that kind of makes sense. So what we can do is we can extend this triangle out. So say we double the length of both the sides. So we double the length of our adjacent side. We double the length of our opposite side and we connect up our say hypotenuse like that. You can see all I've done is double the length. So the adjacent side is now going to be 30 in length. And the opposite side is now going to be 20 in length just because I've doubled the lengths. But what you can see is because we've doubled the lengths that angle is going to stay the same. So the ratio stays the same. So opposite over adjacent. If we have 10 divided by 15 or if we have 20 divided by 30 the angle is always going to be the same just because I'm not changing this ratio. So providing that that is constant this angle here is going to be constant. So if we want to have a look at this and we want to work out this angle just to see if this ratio actually is constant if we scale it by a, a factor then we can say okay our tan theta is initially our opposite divided by our adjacent and our opposite initially was 10 degrees or 10 and our adjacent was initially 15. But now we have this equation here so we want to kind of solve out for this angle theta and that's probably new to us but what we can do is if we have our tan theta if we take the arc tan or the inverse tan of that then these two tans are going to cancel out and we'll be left with the angle theta so we take the arc tan or the inverse tan on both sides so tan negative 1 10 divided by 15 so we can say our angle theta whoops our angle theta is going to be equal to the arctan or tan negative 1 of 10 divided by 15. So we can plug that in like that or we can say angle theta is equal to the inverse tan of 0.666 and if we work that out we'll find that this angle theta here so the angle that corresponds to up here is equal to 33.69 degrees. So we can say that this here is equal to 33.69 degrees if we work out the angle using 10 and 15 as our side length. So our opposite divided by adjacent, opposite equal to 10, adjacent equal to 15. But what we want to check is that this angle doesn't change regardless of whether we use 
um, the sides which have the same ratio. So what we'll do now is we'll plug it in with uh, tan theta, so our ratio, we're going to keep it constant, but we're going to change the side lengths. So 20 divided by 30. So then we can say, well, we have the inverse tan, tan theta, equals the inverse tan of 20 divided by 30. So we can say that, oops, we can say that the angle theta, remember these two tans will cancel out, the angle theta is equal to the inverse tan of 20 divided by 30, which is going to come out to be 0.666, like we saw before. So we can say that if we use 20 divided by 30, our angle is going to come out to be 33.69 degrees. So regardless of whether we use our 10 or our 15 or our 20 or our 30, so long as the ratio is constant, then the angle is not going to change. But what you can see is if we sort of change the angle a little bit by, say, increasing the side length of, oops, and this is terrible, but say we increase the side length of our adjacent side so that we made it up, uh, of our opposite side so that it went up, the angle there is going to increase by a lot more. So providing this ratio is constant, then the angle which we achieve using our tan ratio is going to be constant. But once we change that, so we change the length of either side, we're going to change the angle. Important thing to note, guys, is that when we're calculating this, we need to have our calculators in degrees mode. So degrees mode, if you try to calculate this on a calculator and your calculator is in radians mode, you'll get a completely different answer. You'll get 0.1 or something close to that. But just make sure it's in degrees mode or you're going to come out with a completely different answer. So that is how we calculate the tan ratio. I'll put out some questions and videos on those for you guys. Thanks.